and we're going to pump it all out as fast as we can. So this should start draining now. I say it should start draining, but it's not. Why is it not going anywhere? Because I didn't connect it down the end. And there you go. Right. <laughs> Slight hiccup. <laughs> I didn't connect the pipes. Two seconds. Hello, Vikings. Welcome back to Station Is. Where we left off, we uh, just managed to get this uh, room set up and filling up to this tank. So we're gonna carry on further with gas filtration now. Um, I've made this look a little bit nicer and just so you can see how it's gonna work <coughs> once the doors are fitted. And what we're gonna do is fit this up with an advanced airlock um, so we can basically not mix the two atmospheres if I need to separate them out for whatever reason. <coughs> So down here, I've prepped a load of stuff. So we shouldn't have to create too much stuff, um, do any resource collecting in this episode, hopefully, so we can get straight to work. And there's a lot of stuff we're gonna be involved in this. Now, you could go with um, portable canisters, I suppose, for this, but I think if you've got the steel, and if you're setting this up, and you're ready to start pressurizing bases, and start filtrating out the gas, it's worth Paying the extra um, to get the steel, basically, uh, and to get the small tanks. Um, they hold a lot more. They hold the pressure. I think like a, a portable canister can hold up to 10 m megapascals, uh, where one of these will hold up to 60, I believe, under normal temperatures. And then over in this one, <coughs> we'll get to this. This is uh, a pricier section and this is just optional to put in. I'm gonna be putting in a load of consoles and gas displays so I can see what's in every tank. But we'll get to that. <coughs> Probably still gonna be another two episodes, I think, depending on how long this one goes on for, in setting this up because, as well as setting it up, um, I wanna bring the furnace inside and I've still got a set up underneath for collection of ice and show you how that was gonna work. And then once that's all up and running, that will be my filtration up and running and we can start moving on to more automation of stuff plus I want to get on to building the rover um, I think that's going to be pretty cool that's what I want to get around to so let's get cracking <coughs> take these tanks up with us um, it's a shame you can't stack these atmospheric kits really <coughs> I've still got a tickly throat um, so, excuse me, if I keep coughing or needing to drink, but it's not um, it's not COVID related. All right, so we're gonna have these like this. Is how I imagined it. I get them the right way around. Nope. There we go. Just like that. That one there, and that one there, and so on. Okay, so that's where our six tanks are going to go. Then we're going to look at doing not air conditioner filtration. Now, if I remember correctly, mm, that's the only thing I might need to get to this wiring at some point. I suppose we can have them offset by one. That should be input. That's unfiltered and that's filtered. That works out just fine for me. So we're going to place these along. Making sure that we do filtration. It's really annoying that it don't stack and you have to change them every time. <coughs> and of course I left all the resources down here, so 
that's going to be a pain as well. And hopefully, I think the only thing I'm going to have to print up in this is going to be pipes at some point. But we shall see how far we get. I want to have a look at the electrolyzer as well, because you can use that as to make fuel. And that fuel can obviously be used in your welder, I would imagine, and in um, for power in the furnace, which is what I want to have a look at it for. Oh, that was the right way around. Right. I've brought up one too many of those. I need cable. Right, I'll tell you what they can start doing down there. I'm going to need some water as well. End up running around all over the place now. Let's get you making cable for me. And where's my copper? Right. I had a storm as well while I was um, prepping some of this stuff and uh, I had a load of pipes just blow that way but it's great because I'm inside a building now <coughs> I put a door on and I couldn't think of why I was still getting a storm in here I thought the game had malfunctioned or something but I realised I hadn't sealed this block off I only just looked up at the start before I pushed record on this episode and I was like oh that would be how that storm going so I'm looking forward to getting this all this water system up. I mean, I could transfer just this pipe up <coughs> now and save me having to keep coming down. But meh, we're getting there. Me having to come back down is a constant reminder I have to get a sword. For sure. Right, we're going to leave the electrolyzer here for the moment. Cause, well, I say electrolyzer, the atmospheric kit, because we can use that as... Um, yeah, I know what I'm talking about, I'm going to need that for the furnace, when I bring the furnace up here. So what we're going to do, and the other idea I had is, I'm going to have, I just got to think about where I'm going to put it. Watch the storm come now, because I'm just realizing I'm going to have to actually put things in place before that's going to be enough cable, surely, for now. Nope. I just realized something I do need to make, and that is six back pressure regulators, and that's for filling small canisters up. So let's do that quickly because there's somewhere else that's going to have to be placed. Um, digital valve, get musk, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Pipe analyzer, nope. Pressure regulator, iron, gold, and copper. I think our iron's in the top one. Loads of steel now, I've got two stacks of it, because it doesn't stack beyond 500. So all of you that are wondering what happens when you get to a stack of 500 of anything, it splits automatically. So I had all good intentions, so I was like, oh, I've prepped everything, we're not going to have to print a lot of stuff, but it turns out we are still going to have to. There's always stuff you forget. And right, we'll just stand here quickly and grab those six. Hopefully these stack. Boom, happy days. <coughs> so I'm gonna have one of these. Um just in case I need to pick up a small canister of anything. So there'll be one per Per tank. OK. 
Okay. Oh, they stack up to five. That makes sense. Alright, let's grab two of these. I will eventually, once this is all in place, color coordinate it yeah, and color coordinate the pipes. But for now, it's just. Just a case of getting it in. To where we want it. Now the pipe's going to have to run up that way, I think. So can it be... <coughs> See, that's the only problem. If it goes there, it's going to eclipse with that. Unless we have it in front. But I don't think I like that. I'm trying to think... Um, what I'm going to do is actually probably go one higher with a tank. Caution. Yeah, I think I'm going to go one higher with a tank, so just bear with me. Just going to run down and get some more. Um, just because, mind you, the monarchs can go there. Right, let's get things wide in. Always helps. And actually. Let's go that way. Oh great, everything's happening now. Wasn't properly prepped at all. Well, <coughs> I've prepped to a point. I know what I was going to do this episode. Just, I didn't have a thorough plan on how to achieve it. But, that's the joys of this. We'll figure it out. So we get this wide in, and then lay some pipe and start planning how it's all going to look. That everything, right? That's that. So they can go over there. They can go there. Have we got some food on us? Yes, we have. And suit wires. You can just go down there. Right, let's see now. Right, so we're going to have... This pipe is going to come in from here. We know that much. And the other one's probably going to come in from the other angle. <coughs> so how this is going to work out. So this pipe that comes up here now is actually going to run right the way along here, right along the outside, and it's going to have radiators attached to it. <clears throat> so we can release off that extra heat before it gets to here. Then from here, these are facing out this way so we can easily change the filters. And um, when they re need renewing. So then <clears throat> the unfiltered gas comes in here. Whatever filter comes out there goes up and the rest comes this way and into the next machine. So, can we do a corner here? Probably, oh, we can. That's perfect. Now, I wonder, can we hide this? Can. Okay, so let's save us some room. It's gonna look a bit weird. But, I'm just trying to figure something out. And if it means just using a bit more pipe, just to make things look better. We're going to want this. 
say... Nope, not that way around. Wrench, of course it's the wrench. Nope. And it's the right way up, that's perfect. So then for this, we're going to want... course it's going to be placement blocked isn't it mm. I can't get that one more up I don't think decisions decisions Yeah, see, because I'm going to want <coughs> pressure on that as well. Just deciding. Whether I want to go one more up with the tanks. Don't think I do. Where can I put this? Can't go that high up. It can go there, but like I said, the end one. That's annoying. <coughs> well, let's break this down. We're definitely going to need oxygen one. We're definitely going to need one for... I tell you what, let's go in between and then we'll figure out what we ain't gonna need one for, shall we? How about that? So you don't need to have to have one for everything. So I come down like that. And that's gonna go the other way. It's gonna be a back pressure regulator. Have the cable there? Yeesh, yikes. Um, that's going to be a little bit annoying. Don't know how I'm going to get cable run down to that now. Well, I suppose we could. you can't run yeah you can run cable through but you can't run it down so the only way we can do it is if we go this way it's a bit of a pain in the butt I'll run this down like this there only has to be one connection made I suppose and then the rest can run straight along Right, so let's bring another three of those up. <coughs> we are going to have to print some more pipe. Definitely. That's for sure. Right. So you... And I'm going to need a pipe meter as well. Gonna need five of those. Just to be sure. Happy days.
one, two, three. Another one didn't come out, did it? Nope. <coughs> Four. Thinking now. All right, we're gonna need pipe. And then eventually we're gonna need radiators. So damn expensive. Right, I tell you what, so these don't go anywhere. Make my life easier. If you are wondering, there is two options for the stackers, so you can make sure you get the power cable on the side that you want, which is handy. I'm going to set this to the <coughs> really high because it doesn't matter, it's only going to come out. It's only going to come out in stacks of 20 anyway, but at least they're going to come out pre-stacked. And then I ain't got to worry about K, um, making a complete mess down here while I'm upstairs. K pipe. Did I not make six of these? I could have swore I made six. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'll, come, I'll make another one <laughs> later. So these basically are going to sit on here. And of course placement is going to be blocked now, isn't it? Ha. <clears throat> oh dear. Where can we run this cable to then? I suppose it can go that way. But they all, uh, they're not all going to have to go that way. I suppose they are. That's just going to be really annoying. Um, hmm. Okay then. In that case, let's have a little look. come up like that. Straight across like that. We could do that like that. <coughs> Wrong thing. Oh, and I've just lost my portable light. Let's just change that. See, that's a, that's a difference that this uh, that portable light in your backpack makes. That's why I love using it. There we go. See? <coughs> Huge difference. Let's bring some of this pipe up with us. And swap one of these out. And that's going to go there. <coughs> okay, so that's going to read like that. And then... This will then unfiltered will come out of here it's going to go along here and into this one and the whole process will just repeat itself so I will just crack on and fill this out and then you shall see 
I'll see you in a mo. Okay guys, so that is the majority of it set up. The only thing we've got to get in now is two monitors, which I'm actually thinking the monitors might go nicely in there. So I might go downstairs and grab those in a sec, but what I wanted to just show you here is the last machine's unfiltered is going to come out here and it's going to go back into the loop round. Now, <clears throat> the reason why it's going to do that is because if any of these fail, you don't want to be creating a bottleneck anywhere. Plus, this has got an output. You don't want to be bottlenecking this machine. So if for any reason, because like when, depending on what gases you're burning, you might end up with way more oxygen than anything else or way more um, volatiles, H2. So in that case, you might burn out those filters quicker than you're going to burn out any of the others. So <clears throat> if you're not around to replace them when the time comes, then <clears throat> it will just fill around, keep going around the loop, keep going around the loop until you change it. And hopefully what we're going to work on as well is back pressure on the pipes, back pressure on the tanks eventually um, when we get to a, some more advanced pieces of it to prevent, um, what do I want to say, to prevent any of this exploding. So we'll be monitoring the back pressure of the pipe system and we'll have a dump valve system on that in case it gets too high um, all run through either programming or logic um, and also with the tanks if the tanks get too high pressure we can just dump some of that tank off <coughs> so that is that um, yeah hopefully that makes sense to you and I'm just going to carry on building this round now and then what we'll do we'll get the monitors up here we'll look at getting a power controller Somewhere, I haven't decided where it's going to go yet, but we will have one somewhere. I've got a rough idea actually what we're going to do for that. So let's just get this. Um, in that case, right, I will be back in two seconds. I just um, need to quickly build something else. And I'll show you the fall I just had because it just occurred to me. Um, Still frames, we're going to need a lot more still frames. We're going to need a lot more of everything at this rate. Um, frames. Alright, let's print up a load of those. Turn you off for a sec. Um, this shouldn't have anything in, I don't think. No contents to clear. <coughs> right, excuse me. While well, I just go over what I've just realized I'm going to do is I'm actually, um, that wall can stay permanently fixed like that, or I can actually tear it down. <coughs> but I'm going to build another, ex just an extension out for this, to actually move the back wall here. And the reason for that is because I'm going to want to get behind this at some point to be able to run the pipes. Now, obviously, I wanted to have the filters on show so I could be able to see uh, the filtration units on show so I can change those when needed. One sec, let me go around the front and talk about this, what I'm actually going to do. And you'll see. So, I wanted to have these on show up front. <clears throat> so I can easily change these. And then what I want to have, um, what I should have done actually was something else entirely. Well, it doesn't matter now. I wanted to have these flush up against the wall, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't need to happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to knock, take these out. They're not going to be actual blocks of steel now. <coughs> I'm going to change these to steel walls. Um, and that's purely so. And we'll probably extend this one more out this way. So we can have an access door. And that's so we can get in behind here to the pipes. Because we're actually going to have to run these pipes somewhere. Um, when we want to start pressurizing the base. I just realized that. And looking at the configuration I've got here. There is nowhere for these pipes to go. Uh, except for forward and it'll look a bit funny. 
so with that being said, <coughs> what we can actually do is run this pipe now. And let's just chuck those down. Let's go get the rest. Because that's going to be plenty. <coughs> Let me quickly build this and um, you'll see what I mean. Once I've got it up and running. Okay. <coughs> so as the sun's just rising now. Let me just take some more water on. Should have done this. So this is how this is going to look now. <coughs> we are getting to the stages of filtration, I promise, guys. It's going to... Is it... I know... I did say it's going to be a couple of episodes. It is dragging on a bit. Um, but I'm trying to just show you the actual setup I'm going to be using for my base as well. Um, so hopefully you got the gist of how it works now and how the tank's going to go in. Then not only that, when we're going to start running pipes everywhere to start pressurizing base and running various gases around so for instance like co2 and oxygen are going to have to be mixed together with some nitrogen for the hydroponics bay um you're going to have to mix some oxygen and nitrogen together for general base even though you breathe pure oxygen in your air tank you can use a mix of oxygen and nitrogen just to save on the oxygen basically to pressurize a base um which is what i'll be doing so for you to be able to make those mixes, um, you're going to need an area to be able to do that. And this is the space I'm going to start using <coughs> with the possibility of need to going down into the basement below. So this probably will come one more out actually, um, just to create an access door to get round. So I'll probably have a door and a walkway round here to get into there. Yes, that's something I will do most definitely. So we can get in behind there. So what I'm going to do now is just run this pipe round, get some radiators ready, and run. It's all stuff that you've seen before. So I'm just going to run a. <coughs> excuse me. Off camera, I'm just going to run those pipes around the back. I'll show you the spacing I'm going to use on the radiators to begin with. I'll show you, um, and then I'll come back um, once I've put a power controller up here and run the heavy cable for that. And yeah, we should be good to go then. Um, I'll show you connecting the monitors up and stuff like that as well. But let me run the heavy cable up, let me get a power controller up here, and then let me get... Um, yeah, get that sorted in this pipe run around the back, and I'll uh, be back in a minute. Okay guys, so <coughs> we got the back hooked up. I went up here and over because like I said, there's going to be a door here and I don't want the pipe blocking the door, so that shouldn't block that. It runs all the way around the back, hooks up around the other side. It isn't connected yet because I don't want to start bringing the gas through just yet. Power control is going to sit inside this little maintenance area as well. Hopefully it's not going to be a nightmare to get to. Uh, with pipes running around everywhere, we'll try and keep it all nice and neat behind here as much as we can. If we run into that problem later on, I'll move it out. And it's just running off of the mains from coming up from the main power uh, that connects to the rest of the building. So we're going to start putting some of these down. Um, let's actually just go turn my fabricator off. That's fabricating some radiators for us. Um, that should be enough 15 to begin with. Oh, okay, it's just going to do. 16. 16 should cool us down nicely. Been smelting away, so let's just turn you guys off. Let's actually have a quick look and see what the temperature is like in that tank. It's not really this tank I'm too worried about. There's only 134. <coughs> Excuse me. It's when I come off of the... There's a lot of polluting in there already. A lot of CO2, not that much oxygen. Yeah, it's more of a case of <clears throat> when I come off of the main furnace, which is going to be in this room as well. I just don't know quite where I'm going to put it yet. So the monitors I'm thinking of having here. So not consoles, not dual console monitors. 
And of course you're going to face up, aren't you? I could have him. Mm. <sighs> How much room's actually up here? Can these go up one more? They can, I suppose. Um, yeah. I'm just going to move these tanks up quickly, um, just because I want them. I want these monitors here, quite simply. Unless you can do it with, unless you could do it with these, we'll see. I do prefer the look of these, but if you could do it with normal monitors, then why not? Just label these up a little bit, so we're going to have, let's say, oxygen tank. Definitely going to want to be able to, what actual gases have we got? So we've got X, CO2, N2, so we definitely gonna need CO2 and N2 and O2 close together. So the next one I'm going to do is going to be CO2 tank and you can be oxygen tank, oxygen tank, CO2 tank, is that a storm coming? Sounds like a storm coming. And this can be N2, nitrogen, oh, um, filtration is what I wanted to name that. And this was a CO2 filtration. Getting ahead of myself because of that, that storm I can hear coming. Then we're going to have <coughs> what else have we got? Because I know we're going to need pollutant, definitely, to be able to mix into a small canister. H2O2, N2O, what's N2O? Or is that the nitrogen? I can't see me putting volatiles into a small canister, so we'll put volatiles into the end. Into. So let's do. Pollutant. Tank. Filtration. Uh, it's about pollutant. And then we'll do. Uh, what was the other one? I can't remember. Um, well, uh, 
volatile, is it? Could be wrong. Can't spell properly. So I'm putting it up anyway. And what's the other one? We've got N2, we've got CO2, we've got X. We've got N2, we've got Volatile, we've got X. N2O, wasn't it? So we do N to earn this one, shall we? Yeah. N to O tank. Right, we're almost there to power this up. Hopefully this episode hasn't worked out too long by the time I edit it down. If it is, um my apologies. Right, um, so excuse me, I'm just going to throw these radios up now, and then we'll hook those monitors up. So let's do this. Do them like this to begin with. Plenty. Plenty. Might as well have one there as well. One there as well. Might as well do the other side. That should give us plenty of cooling down capabilities on these pipes. Okay, so now we just need um, bring the gas displays up and I just need some filters. And then we can power it all up. Once we've hooked it up, this is the long part, and I'll probably cut this out. It is going to be a nightmare because these don't stack. So bear with me. Okay, we're there. Right. All our gas display chips are in now, and I know some people have trouble setting these up, so I'm just going to show you how to set the first one up, and then I'll set the rest of them up, and then we can jump to pressurization of the tanks. So what you do is you've got your gas display in there now in the console. Obviously you need to chuck some glass on there. And then you take your data card. Stick your data card in. Oh. All we could do is turn both of these on. And on here what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find Um, what you want to read. So the first one's oxygen. So we need to find oxygen tank. Through our never ending list. Where is oxygen? Huh, that's interesting. There it is, oxygen tank. And we obviously want pressure. So we'll put pressure there. And then we'll do the same over this side. And we want this. And we just change this mode to temperature. And that's the two modes you get on this, pressure and temperature. And just as easy as that, it's done. So I'm going to go through and do the rest. I've put the filters in. I found out what N2O is. is nitrogen oxide. <coughs> so that's always good to know. So I'm just going to finish putting these in now. And we'll jump to it when we're ready to uh, pressurize up. Hey guys, there we go. We're all ready rock and roll with our displays. Now, I am going to put a switch in at some point to be able to turn these manually on and off because you don't want to leave them going constantly because it will wear out your filters. Same with this pumping up. This can be done manually. Um, these will be set to 6,000 kPa to pressurize any canisters we put in. So for now, let's just get out the gases that are in here. So we'll switch all of these on. Like so. 
Just ignore the beeping. That's me running out of propellant, but I should be able to solve that problem in a sec. And we'll get our little thing out. And just to show, there it is nothing in here. And there's nothing in any of these. There's nothing in the pipes. This is a fresh working system. And we're going to pump it all out as fast as we can. So this should start draining now. I say it should start draining, but it's not. Why is it not going anywhere? Because I didn't connect it down the end. And there you go. Right. <laughs> Slight hiccup. <laughs> I didn't connect the pipes. Two seconds. Let's just go grab some pipe from downstairs. I thought I had connected it. I'll put the pipe over here, I think. And there we go. Pipe. I'm a genius. Quite clearly. And there we go. Oh, don't want the glass out. Right, let's try that again, shall we? There we go. That's pumping out nicely. And these should start filling up. There we go. So we didn't have all six in there because we haven't put no oxide or volatiles through that system. Um, but we are going to draw from the other tank over there. And then obviously, as soon as our ice crushers start going in, they should start taking on. Um, but as you can see, like I said, these can take up to, I think, 60 MPA uh, before they break. So the pressure is not going to go anywhere near that in these right now. And it should be putting, yeah, the pipe's empty. Which means it's probably siphoned up everything from here. Oh, no, it's going through slowly. There shouldn't be anything coming out of this one. Nope. And this is obviously filling up. That pressure is not changing. <coughs> Excuse me. But now if we wanted, for instance, let's say. We want to restock our propellant. Let's put a thousand. Well, let's put 2000 in there, which we're going to use um, pollutant as our thing. Um, what I wanted to try, actually, can we change the name of this? We can, so now we can see exactly what it is. That's interesting. I might have to go around and change all of those names at some point. Because that would just help. Um, even though you can see the filter, it would just help um, with stuff like that. So, for instance, for this, temperature's going up, temperature's going up. I don't think we're going to have a lot of pollutant, to be fair. Um, but for now, let's just do... Um, to stop it going off on one. 6,000. Confirm. And then if we chuck this in here. Switch you on. And it should go... Oh, back pressure. You know what? I think these need to be actual pressure regulators. I'm being stupid. One sec. Andrew does not have enough battery. One second. Again, I'm being silly. One second. One second. We got this. We got this. Gonna work as well. Um, what one are we doing? This one. Deconstruct. Tell you what, let's get that out for a sec. Pressure regulator is the one we want, not back pressure. Why'd I fit back pressure in there? I don't want to rename, I want to set this to 6000. Thank you very much. Not that there's 6000 pressure in the system anyway. And I'll tell you what, we'll swap this over with actually this. Stick this in here. There we go, now that should work. Let's 
say it should. Oh no, it is filling. is filling that's good so that's slowly filling that's filling how is this doing almost completely empty now which is just perfect so we've got can't really see Let's get rid of the screen 18 moles, 973. We need a lot, lot more oxygen, basically. With, that's going to come from our ice. That's going to come from our ice. For sure. How much is in here now? Right, that is enough to shut that up. You can turn off. Critical. Pressure, 800. Is that 800 in that tiny little pipe? No, that's showing weld. Shouldn't be. But there we have it. That should keep... That means we can come up here now, we can get propellant, we can get oxygen through the same system. I just need to remember to change all of these over. I'll do that in between episodes. So what we're going to be working on next, guys. Um, we are going to be working on bringing the furnace up. Setting the furnace up somewhere. Probably along, around here. Oh, maybe. Where would you do the furnace over here, shall we? I think we would do the furnace over here. Because then we can run... We can run a pipe in to hook up with our cooling system as well. Because it's gonna need a lot of cooling coming off of that. I mean, the temperatures are not great. Uh, they're both, that one's, let's just change a few of those because I did not pay attention when I was setting this up, clearly. Temperatures are coming down though. Which is good to see. And hopefully once we get the room cold enough in here. <coughs> the temperatures will stay down on them. And come down a lot quicker. So yeah in the next episode we shall finally move our furnace up. And do some adjustments to our furnace. And we'll hook up in the basement. Just to remind you. Down here. All the way down. I mean, this is not somewhere we need to access on a routine basis, so it's a bit windy to get down here. But we'll have our other... Oh, these ice ones coming over here and sorting into ice crushers, and then the gases and the liquid from that can go straight up, and we'll figure out a way of routing those up to the top floor and into our main system. Oh, great. Um, batten down the hatches quickly. I'm only going to lose, there we go, right, I'm only going to lose that empty filtration thing that was up the top there, so I'm not worried about that, and everything else is fully sealed I believe, and nothing can get in here, no sandstorms anymore, yay, we're getting somewhere guys, we are finally getting somewhere, and like I said, we are then, um, once I've done those two things, hopefully get those two things done in the next episode, they should be pretty straightforward. I know this one was meant to be straightforward, but we ended up with a lot of niggly bits. Um, hopefully then we can move on to automating up this, and then we can start building some fun. I might try and build the rover actually before we try automating this, or at least moving these up to Mark II before we try automating them. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do next after we finished off with gas. Um, after the gas product, yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the system. 
any improvements to be made um, like I said there is going to be back pressure going on there at some point um, just in case the tanks get too full um, once we properly get the smelting and ice gathering up to speed um, just to stop everything blowing up so there will be a gas pressure system in place maybe a temperature system as well so if the temperature does get too hot in there we can just fill out some of that gas and store it somewhere else to cool down and then bring it back okay so that's what i've already got that in mind but if you've got any other suggestions for me leave a comment down below smash that like button um if you haven't subscribed already and you're new to the channel check out the other videos and if you like them subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when the next one's coming out and as always guys i'll see you on the next one take care